next park on this trip is the last park I'll be getting a repeat visit to, and that is SeaWorld San Antonio. When I first came here in 2019, I thought this was my second favorite park in the entire state of Texas. Granted, I had only been to the two Six Flags parks in this park back then, and I thought it was second between Six Flags Dover, Texas and Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. At the end of my Fiesta, Texas vlog, I forgot to mention that I do prefer Six Flags over Texas over Six Flags Fiesta, Texas significantly. But is SeaWorld San Antonio better than my experience in Fiesta, Texas? I don't know now, because Roller Coaster Rodeo was good, but I am back here in SeaWorld San Antonio today. And actually, I'll be getting my 300th coaster today, and that's going to be on Texas Stingray. I'm really excited to get on that and also get back on Steel Eel. I was not expecting to like Steel Eel in 2019, as I heard the airtime on that was painful. So I'm going to go over there, do that first, actually, and then go over and ride Texas Stingray. And also, I'm super excited to try Catapult Falls for the first time. I've been really intrigued by this log flume ever since it was announced. <laughs> up significantly and they're only running one train so i have a bad feeling this is going to be the longest line in the park today even over catapult falls to be honest once again no strollers or wagons can be involved in our queue line this is the technical difficulties so I started off with Wavebreaker the rescue coaster. In 2019 the rescue mission I got was sea lion malnourished. This time it was I think dolphin entanglement so I had to rescue the dolphins which the launches were surprisingly good like the second launch I remember throwing me off guard in 2019. It was really good this time too. Now it is time for my 300th roller coaster Texas Stingray. I am really excited for this GCI. I've heard some say it's one of the best out there so I'm expecting this to be I think number three at the very least. I do not see it being my top GCI though which is currently Prowler at Worlds of Fun. But I think it has an outside shot of being my number two GCI ahead of Thunder, ahead of Dollywood. So I'm gonna go over there and see how this GCI is. I actually remember seeing part of this ride under construction in 2019. I think the top of the lift hill was being worked on. You guys see the picture in front of you right now. That was what I saw. Number 300 on Texas Stingray. And unfortunately, the op stapled me, so there wasn't really much air time. Because of that, I would still take Steel Eel over this for the best ride in the park for right now. As for where it ranks in my GCI list, I pretty much nailed this prediction. I said it would probably be third best after Thunderhead and Prowler. Turn up, that's where it ranked. Great pacing, a little rougher than I thought it would be, but by no means unbearable. The laterals were good. Overall, I would say it's a really solid wind coaster. And ultimate question, was it a worthy 300th? I would say yes. Let's try the back row now and see how that compares to the front row. Bro, was nuts. I take back what I said about it being my third favorite GCI. It is now my second favorite GCI. I still prefer Prowler over this for the more insane ride experience, but I think this thing beat out Thunderhead now. I need to get a ride in the front with some actual airtime room so I can see how it actually holds up to the back. My ride in the back just now was a lot better, but then again, I wasn't stable in the back, so lower bar to clear. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
rode my third and final Batman clone of the trip, which was Ray White. In the front row, I thought this was the smoothest Batman clone I'd ridden. But then once I moved to the back row, it was quite a bit rougher. Not a bad Batman clone. And actually, I realized that there are no bad Batman clones. Haven't gotten a good ride on the one over Texas earlier this trip. Now I'm about to ride Catapult Falls, which this has been one of the rides I've been most intrigued about this entire trip. I mean, a launched log flume. Talk about a first of its kind. I heard there are some guys on there that suit you, and if you're unlucky enough, you'll get absolutely destroyed by them. 
Right. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. I'm intrigued to see how this compares to Aquaman Power Wave in terms of how wet you get. So let's go take a ride on this and I just gotta hope I don't get too, too wet. Gotta love Intamin doing Intamin things. Catapult Falls was surprisingly good. The launch was solid. There's one downside to the ride and I kind of feel like this isn't really avoidable, but after the largest drop, there's this airtime hill. There were trim brakes on it and I was hoping there wouldn't be because I imagine the airtime would be sick. Then I realized that the log would probably fly out of the trough if they weren't there. It's still a really solid ride, but I don't think it's my favorite log plume. I mean, I'm a huge like American Plunge fan. Like that log plume at Silver Dollar City, especially last year, was so funny. Catapult Falls is definitely second, but I don't know if it's my favorite or not. to give my initial thoughts of Steel Eel while at the park, but I got a front row ride and the airtime was excellent. The first half in particular stands out, but the second half was a lot better than I remembered it being in 2019. While I would still take Texas Stingray over it for the best ride in the park, I will say that I do prefer Steel Eel over Steel Force at Thorny Park, but it doesn't come anywhere near Mamba or Phantom's Revenge for me. <laughs>
road wave breaker again. Got the sea lion malnourished mission this time. That's the one I got back in 2019. This ride, it's so fun. I know a lot of people don't really care for it because it really doesn't do anything. For me, I love just the feeling of like driving a jet ski. Now I've actually never driven a jet ski, but I imagine that's what it feels like on wave breaker and it's a great time. <laughs>
later in the day as compared to early in the afternoon is insane. Huge difference in terms of pacing. I thought I was running really well earlier this morning. Riding it just now was just crazy. Got a back row right on it. Didn't get a ton of room, but that's okay. But man, this thing is awesome. I still don't know which ride I prefer. As of now, I think I might be leaning towards the back, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I need to get a ride up front with some decent room because I've closed the table both times I've ridden the front so far. So let's try the front row out again, see if it's any better. that last ride was definitely the best one so far. Front row, lots of room later in the day. My thighs are sore from all the air time on this thing. I don't think it's better than Prowler though, but it's a lot closer now than it was at the start of the day. <laughs>
So I'm gonna ride this, I think, once, maybe twice more while I'm here, and then start working my way back up towards Steel Heel to get some more shots of that. <laughs> on Wavebreaker and one more ride on Steel Eel. Both of those are really solid rides and now I'm gonna get one ride on Journey to Atlantis to finish off my day here at SeaWorld San Antonio. <laughs> a zen ride on journey to atlantis to end up my day here at SeaWorld san antonio and my final ride count it was five on texas jeez louise shut up anyway five on texas stingray three on steel eel and Wavebreaker the rescue coaster two on great white and then one on journey to atlantis and catapult falls in terms of highlights texas stingray was a great 300th getting some good rides on steel eel and Wavebreaker and getting on great white again was also cool despite the operations not being great. I had a good day here regardless, but is it still better than Six Flags Fiesta Texas? I don't think so. I think I do prefer Fiesta Texas over this park now. Even though they got Texas Stingray, I just had a better experience at Fiesta Texas from Roller Coaster Rodeo than I did here today. That's not saying this park is bad by any means. I enjoyed my time here, but it definitely could have been better, especially the operations of the park. And before you close this video, please sure leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment away and enjoy about this video and be sure to share it with someone else right now. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you can notify it every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parts. So be sure to check me out there as well. The link in the description. As for my next vlog, I will be going to Galveston Pledge Pier and I'll be taking my first ever rides on Iron Shark. So stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you later.